This is a Mova Globe, and it's been a giant disappointment. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I have a Mova Globe with me, and this is something I bought. Paid for it. Out of pocket. So just like every other product around here, I'm going to give you my honest thoughts on it. And I should probably tell you that this Mova Globe thing is a globe. It's a sphere. It's about the size of a softball, probably. And what they do is they make them in this fluid here. And then I think via the lights, the solar power, it will continue to spin. So it has this nice soothing spinning rotation that just kind of puts you at ease and adds a little bit of motion to your office, your bedroom, those types of things. Now, I've had this one for a while, and there are a number of things that I want to cover. First of all, you can get them in a bunch of different styles. This is like this antique globe type of thing. It's hard to spin it around here because, like I said, it's filled with liquid. But I was actually intrigued about getting one that looked like the Earth with clouds on it. That would have been cool, so it looked like the planet was spinning. You can get them in some other planets, Jupiter, Saturn, those types of things. You can set up a whole solar system of MOVA globes. I also think you can get them in different sizes. I think this might be the smallest size here and i want to say it was about 140 bucks now you can get them with a base and what this base is it's just like plexiglass it's actually pretty simple it just has some holes drilled in there at an angle and then you get these little tubes and so you put these in there just like this and this little tripod will hold the mova globe just like this well, I was hoping that this would be something I could put in my office and flip on my lights and have this thing spinning a little bit. It'd be up on my bookshelf in front of me, those types of things. It would move around, just kind of keep me slightly entertained. As you can see here, it was spinning one way and now it's kind of spinning the other way. I'm not sure how this is weighted. And again, I think it uses light to create the motion. I think it's a little bit like a perpetual clock that my aunt had when I was a kid and that used like atmospheric pressure to kind of spin something like that so it's basically kind of passively receiving energy to spin now what I want to show you here is that it doesn't seem to be spinning and I will say it kind of spun at about this speed before it doesn't spin much faster than that and sometimes like right now it's kind of going again so that's kind of cool and I guess the bottom is weighted here so at this point it's kind of spinning but depending on the light, and sometimes I just find it not spinning, or sometimes it just slows down. And I don't know if it's LED lights or fluorescent lights, or it needs something like really bright on it. But right now, I'm in as bright of a room as anyone can probably expect. So I will say the spinning, while it does work, it works sometimes, and other times it's not spinning and I have no idea why. And maybe it's the temperature or something like that. I couldn't tell you why sometimes it moves and other times it will just sit there doing a whole lot of nothing. Now I will also say here that while I've had it on display in my office here, it does not seem to be leaking, but I do have, it might be a little hard to show you here, but I do have liquid that is missing. So I'm assuming that is to evaporation or something like that. Maybe it is leaking out of the seam. The plastic sphere here has a seam right there where it's fused together. And while you can see it, it's not super bright, but I've never seemed to detect anything dripping down onto the base or anything like that. So my assumption has always been evaporation and maybe that's why it doesn't spin as well. I also was kind of expecting and hoping that this would be sealed extremely well, especially for the price point. And that's where I want to get to the last thing here is the value. I've always kind of wanted a globe in my office. I thought it was kind of one of those old money kind of cool things, you know, maybe a globe that opens up and has a bottle of scotch in it. So I always thought that something like this would be cool just to have, you know, something a little stylish and it was kinetic like this. But my issue with this is that a $200, I'm struggling to see why you would get this. I have seen some of the globes that are floating on magnets and they have no resistance. They don't move on their own, but you can spin them and then they will just spin for a very long time because there is virtually no friction other than the air resistance as far as I know. And those things are pretty cheap and those look pretty cool too. And it's kind of cool when there's nothing tethering it to the top or the bottom. So those are much cheaper. The other thing I was thinking is I get that there is some science behind this and that's why it spins, but... To be honest, I guess I'd rather just load a few AA batteries into the base and have it spin slowly and have it spin reliably. You know, I think you could make something that uses a spinning magnet or something to drag the sphere around and it would probably be fairly power efficient. Or you could have something that plugs into the wall. All of those things, I think, would bring the price point down too. Now, if you got this acrylic ball and the spinning globe and the base here for... I don't know, 50 bucks, I think, hey, that's kind of an interesting little proposition and when it moves, it moves. But at 200 bucks, 
Man, you gotta be well healed to pick up something like this. I mean, it's not something that you're gonna take out and play with. It's mostly something that you're just gonna kind of sit around and look at. And really, it's just gonna be something in the background. Just kind of something to add a little life to your office or your bedroom. See, the thing stopped. I don't understand why. It's kind of unpredictable. So, it's a cool idea. There are lots of different spheres, from the moon, to planets, to Earth, but at this price point, for something that doesn't spin reliably, for something that seems to be losing liquid over time, I've just been pretty eh about it. I definitely could have deployed a couple hundred bucks a little better, I think. Hey, if you want to pick up a mobile globe, you think this is the right thing for you, I'll put a link to it in the description, but if you want to pick up some of those floating magnetic globes, I think those are pretty clever too. I'll put a link to those as well. It'll save you a bunch of money too. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper. We can live better than ever thanks to Peter. Peter Von Panda.